Connected vehicles typically rely on GNSS coverage for timing information. But in scenarios such as tunnels or multi-level parking garages, GNSS signals are not always available or it becomes too weak. In this demo, we will show seamless and robust communication between our test vehicles using 5G V2X sidelink, even after they lose GNSS coverage inside a tunnel. In this demo, we have two clusters of vehicles. Each cluster has two test vehicles, making up four vehicles in total. The two vehicle clusters approach each other from opposite directions and enter a tunnel where they lose GNSS coverage. Here on the left panel of this video, you will see an overhead map tracking our vehicles during the demo. On the top right panel, we show the dashboard view from the rear vehicle following the lead car for one of the clusters. We can call it cluster two. The visuals on the bottom right panel indicate two things. First, the timing synchronization source used by our test vehicles, which could be either GNSS or an independent timing source from one of the vehicles. And second, if there is any communication happening between the vehicles, as indicated by the white lines around the vehicles. Let's start the demo video. Here on the bottom left corner, we are seeing cluster one, which is now synced with GNSS timing and the vehicles are communicating with each other. Take a look at the map and you can see our cluster two has also started moving and like cluster one, it is synced to GNSS timing and both vehicles within cluster two are also communicating with each other. As cluster one enters the tunnel, it loses GNSS coverage. Notice here on the bottom right panel how the timing synchronization source for cluster one has shifted from GNSS to vehicle A. Both the vehicles in cluster one are synced to a common timing source and as indicated by the white lines, both the vehicles continue communicating with each other. On the other end of the tunnel, we can see how cluster two undergoes the same changes as cluster one as it enters the tunnel from the opposite direction. This is interesting. Notice how cluster two has now synced to cluster one's timing. The two clusters have merged and all four vehicles are synced to a common timing source and are exchanging messages even in the absence of GNSS coverage. Now the clusters have moved away in opposite directions. They are still within the tunnel and have separated into two independent clusters, each with its own timing source. This means that the two clusters are no longer communicating with each other. But of course, thanks to 5G V2X sidelink, the vehicles within each cluster can continue communicating with each other even without GNSS. Here, cluster one is leaving the tunnel and now back in GNSS coverage. The same happens with cluster two. For both advanced safety applications and enhanced use cases, vehicles must be able to communicate seamlessly at all times. In this over-the-air demonstration, we have seen how 5G V2X sidelink can continue to synchronize timing information across vehicles, even when they are out of GNSS coverage thus providing robust communication even without GNSS coverage.